Have you ever looked at your underwear and wondered, is this normal? If you've ever questioned the colour of your vaginal discharge, you're not alone. Different shades and textures of your discharge can mean different things, from it being totally normal cycle changes to signs of infections that might need some attention. So I'm Brooke, I'm an obstetrics and gynaecology doctor, and in this video I'm going to break down what each colour of your discharge might mean, when you should seek medical advice, and what is completely normal. So stay with me until the end because I'll also be sharing my top tips for how to clean the area and maintain your vaginal health. What is vaginal discharge? Well, from the time you go through puberty and you first start getting your period, you'll probably notice vaginal discharge in your underwear. This slippery liquid is made up of fluids from the cervix, the uterus, and the vagina, and it has got several purposes. It's protective. The organisms and chemicals in the fluid help to keep other infections away. It also reduces the friction from sex to make it more comfortable. And that cervical discharge can actually help sperm to reach the egg during conception. So depending on the stage of your cycle, you may notice that the colour, the consistency, the volume and even the smell of your discharge can change. The changing levels of oestrogen throughout the menstrual cycle can lead to these changes in your cervical discharge, which can give us some valuable clues if you're trying to work out where you are in your menstrual cycle. So what should your discharge look throughout the menstrual cycle? Well, your vaginal discharge changes due to hormonal shifts. After your period ends, the first thing you should notice is some clear or cloudy white discharge feels a bit slippery. This is the follicular phase. As you get closer to ovulation, around the middle of your cycle, it becomes more stretchy and gloopy, similar to raw egg whites. This type of discharge actually helps sperm to reach the egg, and it can increase up to 30 times your usual daily amount. Some people may also notice light pink or brown spotting around ovulation. It isn't necessarily a concern if it's something that happens with each cycle, just a few streaks of red or brown blood in the discharge. Now, after ovulation in the luteal phase, discharge becomes thicker, white and sticky as the progesterone levels rise. The amount gradually decreases so you get less and less discharge until your next period begins. So those are all causes of normal, white or clear discharge. So what does yellow or green discharge mean? Well, that colour of discharge, especially if it's frothy or accompanied by a bit of a smell, a bit of an odour, especially one that wasn't there before, may indicate an infection. Those could be infections like chlamydia or trichomoniasis. If you see green or yellow discharge, don't hesitate. See a doctor or a nurse because they can just take a quick swab and let you know if any antibiotics are needed. So red discharge, well this typically signifies the presence of blood. This could be due to your menstrual cycle, so usually on day one to five of your menstrual cycle. But some people might notice this red or pink discharge in the middle of their cycle or in the few days leading into or out of your period. Now spotting, also bleeding between your periods or after you have sex, should be checked out in case it's a sign of any abnormalities in the lining of the womb or your cervix. Next, brown. Well, brown blood is perfectly normal. It's usually just old blood that has taken longer to leave the body. When any kind of blood is exposed to oxygen, it goes through a process called oxidation, and that changes the colour of the blood from bright red to darker shades of brown or even black. You might notice brown discharge at the start or the end of your period when your flow is lighter, and that means your blood is just moving more slowly on its way out because it's not such a heavy flow. You can also get that brown discharge right after ovulation as there's leftover blood from your mid-cycle spotting, or you may notice it at the beginning of pregnancy if you have some implantation bleeding. Now in most cases, brown blood is simply part of your body's natural cycle. It's nothing to worry about, it just tells you how quick that blood is moving. It certainly cannot tell you how well your liver is working or detoxing your body. Next up, thick cottage cheese white discharge. Well, if this discharge looks more like cottage cheese and it's accompanied by itching, discomfort or soreness, it may suggest you have a yeast infection, commonly known as thrush. Now, while this condition is generally very treatable with over-the-counter antifungal medications like canistin, if you get these symptoms often, you should make sure that you get properly checked to ensure that the thrush that you have is actually thrush and it's not a type of thrush that might be resistant to those over-the-counter treatments. So don't keep just treating yourself over and over again. What does grey discharge mean? Well, grey watery discharge that's accompanied by maybe a fishy odour can be a sign of bacterial vaginosis, BV. And this means that you've got an imbalance in the natural bacteria that live inside your vagina. Again, this can be easily treated with antibiotics if we do confirm that you have a BV infection. 
And finally, what does clear discharge mean? Well, clear discharge is typically normal. It can vary in how much you have. You might notice sometimes you've got loads of clear discharge and you may notice that discharge becomes more slippery around the time of ovulation because they're to facilitate the sperm's movement. It can also increase during pregnancy because of hormonal changes. So during pregnancy, it actually is very typical to notice more vaginal discharge. It can make you even feel wet in your underwear. This is usually clear or white in color. The body produces this increased discharge for a reason. It's there to reduce the risk of any infections traveling from the vagina up to the uterus, where your fetus is developing. As you progress in pregnancy, you may see the amount of discharge increasing due to rising estrogen levels. What about discharge during menopause? In menopause, you have lower estrogen levels, and that can lead to a reduction in your vaginal discharge. And that can leave you feeling dry down below, which can feel uncomfortable and even interfere with sex. Now it can often be treated by just replacing the estrogen in the vagina. Let's finish up with some tips for keeping your vulva healthy. Now firstly, you want to be cleaning it properly. Now this doesn't mean that you should be scrubbing harshly, as I always say, the vagina is self-cleaning. But you can clean the vulva, the external genital area. You should gently wash that area with some warm water, and if you want to clean the hair-bearing parts, you should only ever use a mild, non-perfume soap. Please never do douching. This means cleaning on the inside of the vagina because that can disrupt the natural balance of bacteria in your vagina. You should wear breathable fabrics. Your vulva does not like a hot, sweaty environment, so you should opt for cotton underwear and avoid any tight-fitting clothing to reduce a buildup of moisture and allow the vulval area to breathe because otherwise you can promote infections. Finally, you should always track your discharge. Keep track of your discharge's color, its consistency, and your odor. You can use your period tracking app. And by noting any changes, it can help you to go and see your doctor early and identify any potential issues. You should always speak to a healthcare provider if you do notice ever there's a significant change in the color of the discharge, the smell, or the texture. Any itching, soreness, or redness around the vagina or the vulva. And if you have any bleeding in between your periods or after sex, you should also see a doctor if you have pain when you're passing urine or pain with sex. So there you have it, you're now equipped to understand the different rainbow of colours of the discharge that you might see during your cycle. So have I missed any colours? Let me know below and I can make a follow-up video.